What's up, my pilots? I'm your Poncho. We're back playing Pokemon Platinum Poncho. Live in this episode, we are going to take on the Ice Gym. Which I believe is right over here, behind the Sailor Man. Popeye the Sailor Man. Let's see. Snow Point City Pokemon Gym Leader, Candace, the Diamond Dust Girl. Is she the one that looks like a ballerina? What am I... Uh, maybe not. She has pigtails. I think I'm actually thinking of the pink girl. I don't even remember what, what type she was. It's been so long, man. It's taken me so long to play through this game. So much longer than any other Pokemon game. Now I'm losing track of what was what. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Do you see the big snowballs placed around here? Oh man, it's an ice puzzle. I love these. You need to slide on the ice and with enough momentum to crush them. Crush the snowballs. Okay. Gym leader is a user of ice-type Pokemon. Melter defenses with scorching fire-type moves. That's the plan, yes. So, we're gonna try and use Blaze here. And I was thinking about this between videos. That there's a common trend in ice type Pokemon to be half ice, half water. So we're gonna want to have Peach on hand to take out those Pokemon. And then Eddie with fighting type moves can actually hit super effective on ice. So maybe he'll come into play if we decide we need to switch out with one of these two. Alright, so how do these snowballs work? I guess I can... let's just look around. Do I? Okay, yeah, it's one of those puzzles where when you start you can't stop until you hit something, so... Just skate around. Hello! You're an attractive lady. My willpower was shaped and tempered by the howling blizzards. I'll bring it to bear on you! Dun 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 dun. That's not a lady. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, pillow swine. This. Ah, oh, this could be a problem. I don't. Ground type moves are super effective on all three of my Pokemon that I'm trying to use against ice. It just sucks. Oh my god, Blaze, Peach, and Eddie are all weak to ground. Man, okay, um. But I want Toggle to come in. She's weak to there, he's weak to ice. Bell is has levitate. I guess Bell would be the way to go. I could use mud. I'd just surf him. Does ice resist water? I think it's the other way around. Let's let mud have a chance. I was hoping to use Blaze here, but right off the bat, we got something I gotta watch out for. Yep, Earthquake. That's that's what I was hoping not not to see. But oh boy, it's gonna be a long battle. Especially if the gym leader's got a Pokemon that has Earthquake. Let's go for the Surf. Hopefully, we can one shot this thing. If not, I'm gonna need to use a potion. No critical hits. No critical hits. No critical hits. Ooh. Okay. Scary day. Yeah, that is super effective. Good. Tell me I can one-shot a Pillow Swine. They're pretty bulky, aren't they? Oh, I can't! I can't one-shot a Pillow Swine! But I do get the Shell Ball recovery. Well, that means very little, considering I'm gonna have to heal up. What have I got? Hyper Potion! That'll do it. Right off the bat, we're having to heal. Alright, so let me look at my list here. We have... Yes, Gym Leader's highest level Pokémon is level 44. So that's what we have to be prepared for, is a level 40... Why are you switching to Ice Fang? That's weird. Uh, I feel like Earthquake would have done more, but... Whatever he floats your boat, dude. Yeah, so... Level 44 Pokemon. That's, I don't know anything about the Gym Leader's Pokemon, except... That... Her? I guess, yeah, her highest level Pokemon is level 44. So, I guess we're relatively in a good position for in terms of levels, since we're all the way up at 46 already, and we're going to get a couple more in the course of this gym, I expect. You know, two, two points on the Shell Bell recovery. Nice. And we defeated Isaiah. Isaiah? Isaiah? How do you say that? Alright, let's, uh... Okay, Blaze is still in front. We'll, we'll leave Mud. We're not going to... Hopefully we don't need him again. <laughs> I don't have any more Pillow Swine. What if I... Let's go this way. Hello? It's too, too, too cold. I can't even feel my tongue. Hey, baby, come here. Let me warm up that tongue for you. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> god damn it! These all—they all look like women. I, uh, let's just pretend that never happened. Stover, there's oh, there's something to talk about. Gosh. All right, if yeah, the gym, oh, the gym leader's got to have a Stover, right? The only Pokemon that can summon hail just by being in battle. The ice type gym leader has got to have probably an Obama Snow, actually. Hmm. Alright, Blaze can one shot. Yeah, Blaze can one shot a Pokemon that's four times weak. That's no problem. 
I guess the question is if Blaze can one-shot just other kinds, pure ice types, for example. Hmm. I'm trying to think about who I want to use against what. It's, the reason I've lost Pokemon recently is because I haven't been careful. Well, not, not really recently. I guess it's been a, been a few videos now since we've recovered, and we've kind of been doing well since then. But, uh... Yeah, so the reason I lost him was because I didn't pay attention to type advantages enough and I got hit by super effective moves that just I should have known were coming, to be honest. Kind of embarrassing to be frank, but you know. Alright, Sergio, let's just... Bitter cold, bitter cold! Alright, can I go... Okay, there's another ice pile down there I can go to. Let's do that. I can... Oh, yeah, look at that! that that's fun! Alright, how do I... Let's squish some more snowballs, man. How do I... Ugh. Can I? No. All right. I have to. I guess I have to go down one of these ledges to get enough speed. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Let's try that. Can I? Hmm. Let's battle this person. You're actually a woman, right? Maintain your cool. Whoa! Hang on. Did I miss a? <laughs> I think that first line might have been a pun about heat or something. If you can't maintain your cool in battle, you'll freeze up. Yeah, definitely. I missed the puns. Ah. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Look at the hair. Ace Trainer Savannah. Alright, here's our chance to try out Blaze on, on a pure ice type. It's no run, it's pure ice. It's not ice rock, is it? That'll be bad. Protect! What you protecting for? You ain't even got no... no... nothing going on. You got no toxic on me, you got... You're not waiting for a fly to come down or something? That's... You don't even need to scout, I guess. Well, you could scout, but what's Blaze gonna do if not a fire type move? I hate when the enemy AI just uses Protect for no reason. I mean, competitive battling, it's a great move. You can use it to scout what your opponent's gonna try and do. You can use it to uh, delay the battle if you, they have toxic damage racking up. You can use it to stop the second turn of a two-turn move from hitting you. All kinds of stuff. You can use it to break stuff like uh, focus punches and things like that. I don't know why you'd want to do that, I guess, but... You could. Protect would do that. Uh. Alright, down goes the snow runt. You're such a runt, snow runt. Ooh, Glalie. Alright, now we're going fully evolved. Because what I gotta expect to have to deal with is fully evolved ice type Pokemon at about Blaze's level. I need to know if Blaze can one shot. I think, Bla I think Glalie's pretty bulky. Yeah, yeah, for an ice type, I guess so. Crunch me. That's not the move I expected to see. Glalie's not a dark type, is it? I think so. It's pure ice. Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna need a flame wheel, or rather a sunny day, if I want flame wheel to do, uh, to one shot most of these Pokemon that are gonna be fully evolved. Bomb Snow wouldn't be a problem, it's four times weak. Glalie looks like I need a sunny day in order to one shot. And then, unless, I think, actually I actually think Blaze learns another move soon. I feel like there's a, one of those powerful moves that you have the... oops, I was going around this way, wasn't I? One of those powerful moves that you have the uh, recoil on? I think Blaze learns one of those pretty soon. I think the next level would be really convenient. <laughs> That'd be so awesome. It's like, hey, that's perfect timing. I guess we'll find out. Alright, let's set up a sunny day. And then see if we can one-shot Sklaley. We should be able to based on how much damage I did on the last one. They're all going to be crunching me, huh? I'm not too afraid of that. The sunlight is strong! And Rapidash is really fast, too, which is always, always an advantage to be able to go first, so... Hopefully, we'll be faster than any of her, her Pokémon. Oh! I s what?! 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 It's... it lived?! Even with the sunny day, did I miss something here? I'm... Wow, that Glalie must be tough! Dang! Alright, well, that's you only have the one Pokemon, so I'm not going to be worried about needing to heal or anything. I pay attention to that kind of thing nowadays. Gotta be, gotta be cautious. Did I learn a new move? Yeah, what? Bounce! I thought it was something else. I don't know if you know if I want bounce. Power 85, accuracy 85. Takes two turns, might paralyze. Eh, I don't really think I want bounce. Yeah, I think Megahorn, Poison Jab, and Flame Wheel are the type coverages that I want Blaze to have. We'll just leave it. Let's give up on Bounce. I don't need a fourth move that's super effective against Grass. 
<laughs> Blaze just kills the grass types. But uh, flying type move, bug type move, poison type move, fire type move, all that. Can I? Hey, oh, I'm already been down here. Okay. I need to get to that little patch right up there. How do I? Who do I have to stop on in order to hit that? There's nothing for me to get to that would stop me in the right place. That ain't right, yo. All right, maybe if I. Eh. How do I get out of here? It's weird when you hit the stairs. You you don't stop at the foot of the stairs. You like slide up. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh, look at that. That's fun. <laughs> I like smashing the snowballs. It's the most exciting thing we've done this whole game. Well, that might be an exaggeration, but you know. Oh, here we go. I can go over here. Whee! Oh wait, hang on. Yeah, look at this. I think we can go around this guy. Yeah, check this out. Oh, sweet! I was figuring out how I was going to have to go do that five times, but that's much better than I have to do it once. Then I can come around and... Yeah, okay, I can come around the top, come back down, and hit that next snowball by going to the right. Let's go twice across there. I, oh, I thought I was going to have to battle that person up there. Guess not. Boom. Alright, is the way to the gym leader open now? This half is cleared. I have to go around again in order to get out of here. Wait a second. No, that's... I could've just gone down. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, alright. Can I... I just need to get into the middle and stop. Yeah, here we go. Alright, I got it. Okay, I've cleared enough to... How do I... Hey. Let me out of here. I gotta go heal up. So I'm gonna go... Yeah, let's just go. We'll, we'll walk together, shall we? I managed to avoid quite a few of the trainers in there, I think. But I only battled three out of five? Sound like that. There's a person with pink hair standing there, that's suspicious. Was she here before? I think that might be one of the other gym leaders. The girl with the... Yeah, I'm gonna talk to her. Oh man, this is hard. I don't know how to talk to girls. Hello! Maylene, you are one of the other gym leaders, aren't you? Hi, Poncho, are you taking the gym challenge now? I'm hoping to see Candace soon, but I'm staying put until I'm up again. You should know that Candace is user of ice types. I really admire Candace. She wanted to practice against me to learn about the fighting type. Because the ice type matches up badly against the... Yeah. Yeah. I see. She wants to train against her weaknesses. This gym leader could be a problem. Alright. We'll play it close to the chest. So I'm thinking... Are the balls back? Yeah, I gotta do that whole puzzle again. Alright. Oh, hey, look at this. I think I can... Yeah. Look at that. Busting up. Oh, hello. That's how you would get to here and then go and battle those other two people. Okie doke. Well, I'm not gonna, because I don't need to. I'm already leveled enough. I just need to solve the puzzle again, so I can get down to the gym leader. So... Let's go ahead and go around. I'll get this one. Then I need to go... Ay, this is gonna be a roundabout. I need to get that one. And I can go up here to get this one. I'm getting good at this. Alright. I learned quickly. Yes, young grasshopper. Okay, now I have to turn sooner than before. And yeah, go this way. Five in a row, baby! Alright. Now I have to get back to the middle down there. I think I can... Yeah, I can go right here. Alright, sweet. That may have been like one of the shortest ways to get to this. Alright. We all ready to go here? Blaze is loaded up. What, did, what does Blaze have? The silver powder. Yeah, which, you know, I wish I had a charcoal for him, but I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't, I mean. <laughs> I looked through and tried to find good stuff to give all my Pokémon. I don't have anything that's really good for, for Blaze. I don't have a charcoal. I got the soft sand. I don't have any... Well, actually... Hmm. Alright, well... I hope this isn't a... This won't be a double battle, will it? That would be really weird. Okay, just in case it is, I'm gonna put Eddie up here. All right, here goes nothing. We got super, we got we got high potions and things. So, oh, she's probably gonna try and freeze us too. Do we have any full heals? Let's see. I got I got an ice heal. All right, I should be good. And lava cookies and stuff. All right, let's do this. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone tough. Why are you talking about yourself in the third person and then switching to first person? Because I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance, it's all about focus. What? She must be a really intimidating French kisser. It's all about focus! Yeah, she's one of those girls, I can tell. Alright, here goes nothing. 
four Pokemon, and whoa! <laughs> Dang, girl, put your skirt down. You crazy. All right. I'm not fearing anything crazy from a Sneasel, so I think I'm going to go ahead and set up my sunny day. So I'm hoping to one-shot some of her regular Pokemon. Like, Sneasel's not very strong in terms of defensive stats. In fact, I think its defense is pretty bad, actually. The sunlight is strong. I went first that turn, so unless you guys got a priority move, this should be it for the Sneasel. Alright. Fingers crossed. One down, three to go. Alright. We have the sunny day set up, we're rolling along. Let's see how far Blaze can take us. The sunlight is strong. Show me your bomb of snow, come on, I dare ya. <sighs> Pillow swine. I gotta switch. Oh, but if I switch into mud and use surf, it's gonna be powered down by the ra by the sun. Oh, I don't want to use a rain dance because then I won't be able to use Blaze anymore. Oh, puzzles. What do I do? What do I do? Let's see. I could switch into Bell. Be immune to the any ground-type moves, which certainly will be coming, so I get a free switch. I could use Confuse Ray, Stealth Rock, and then just go with Returned, or I could be an Exosensory, actually, to finish him off. And then the Sunny Day might actually have ended, so I could use anybody who I wanted to and roll from there. Yeah, I'm gonna switch into Bell. Try and play as strategically as possible here, that's how you win. Stone Edge? That's not Earthquake, what are you doing? Oh wow, that did very little. Bell's defensive stats continue to shine. Oh, she has carried us through this game. Alright, so let's go for the Confuse Ray first off. Oh, there goes the Hail. Alright, my sunny day's over one way or the other. Here come the Blizzards, right? Because I think they have 100% accuracy in Hail, so... That's what I should be waiting to see. Does Steel resist Ice? I don't remember. Do I have my chart? I don't have my chart around. Dang. Why do Steel's types take damage from Hail? I don't think damage from sandstorms. I don't know. Maybe that would be overpower overpowered if they had both. Get my rocks in. Just, you know, just because they can. Late game stealth rocks are OP. You're confused, ain't ya? Pitch yourself, pitch yourself, pitch yourself. Yes. Alright, that'll make this next step easy, which is knocking it out. So, I don't, Pillow Swine's pretty bulky, I think, so I don't know if one extra sensory will do it, but we'll see. I'm even faster? What? How did I not notice that sooner? Pillow Swine must be slow as... There's, it's really, really slow! I don't know, I couldn't think of anything really slow to say. Oh, not quite a 1 KO, is it? Alright, well... Oh, come on, kill yourself. Oh, barely didn't kill yourself. That sucks. Well, if she's got any restorative items, one of them's gonna be coming out in this next turn. So maybe I'll... Hmm. I think I can still two-shot it with extra sensory. Hyper Potion! Alright. I don't mind. I'd rather her use her Hyper Potion on her weaker Pokémon. Because we've seen two level 40s. I'm still waiting on the level 44 that's coming. I guess at the end? Whoa. Oh man. Actually, if she goes into red again, she might use another Hyper Potion. We can go get rid of all of her items on this first Pokémon. Oh, well, I can't... I'll just use Return. <laughs> oh, now I'm slower? What? Are we in a st Are we in a speed tie? Is that why I didn't notice it sooner? Because I, I wasn't going first? Huh. Interesting. I don't really know what was going on there. That might have been a speed tie. And the hail ended. There's the Obama Snow, just in time to get the hail back up. Oh, look at the stones. I love it. Because it's weak to... Ice is weak to rock, so they're taking a quarter of their health. Obama Snow Snow Warning ripped up a hail storm. All right. Here comes the hail, or the, uh... What do I do? What do I do? Can Blaze take... An, uh, okay, it's not powered up by hail, it's just the accuracy's improved, I think. But still, it's 120 damage, times stab, resisted. I'm trying to do the math in my head here. Alright, Blaze special defense will matter for this. 
90. How does that compare to everybody else? Not as good as Bell, that's for sure. Alright, um... Just trying to figure out what to do, because... Oh, gosh. It's gotta be a blizzard coming, right? If it's a grass-type move, you know, all the better, because it won't benefit from the hail. All I need to do is get Blaze back in, and one flame reel will finish this Obama step, because I know Blaze is going to be faster. Blaze is fast as anything. Fastest Pokemon in the world! The fastest thing around! Alright, well... I, c I think Bell can take the hit better than Blaze can. So what I'm actually going to do is heal... Bell, and see what's coming here. And if I can take a shot from this Pokemon, I will... I was thinking it doesn't do 60. What was I doing? Avalanche! I don't know that move well. Okay, but I will happily set up on this Bomb Stone now. Alright, so let's get a... Right, we're in no danger from this Bomb Stone. So... Will 50 be enough? Yes, let's heal Blaze. On the next turn, I'm going to switch into Blaze. And then, ooh, Focus Blast. Whoa. Where did that come from? Hmm. That's not a stab move, so I think Blaze can take it. Let's bring in Blaze. I want to go for the Flame Wheel. I know I'm playing a little bit aggressively here, but... I really wanted Blaze to hit an Obama stuff. You can do it, Blaze. Yeah, look at that. Alright, and now we're going to be faster. Shill. So this flame wheel should finish this bomb of snow. Oh yeah! Alright, one Pokemon left, but that wasn't our highest. Alright, so here comes the level 44 we've been waiting for. What's it going to be? One more turn of hail, I might need to heal Blaze again. Frostlass! Ah, oh, I wouldn't have guessed. Alright. Oh, look at that stone damage. Alright. I'm gonna break the ice and bring out my last resort Pokemon. Alright. Am I... What is coming next? Frostlass! I don't know this Pokemon very well. I know it's Ghost and Ice. I... What do I want to do? Fighting-type moves will do nothing. So Eddie's out. Eddie could go for an Earthquake. I think Eddie could go for an Earthquake. Because Ghost will be resisted. Steel will resist Ghost. And Ice, I think. So let's bring Eddie in. It's not going to go for anything really weird, I don't think. Yeah, let's bring Eddie in. Go for the EQ. We'll see if we can get a double team. Oh no! Is this Snowvale Frostlass? Oh god. This could really suck if she can get her evasion way up. I am hoping and hoping and hoping that I can hit an EQ now. Eddie's got the soft sand, so it's powered up. Go for it, man. Oh, two double teams and a snow veil, I bet. It's gonna be rough. You can do it, Eddie! You can do it! Oh, and you missed. Oh, shit. This is gonna suck. Oh, man. Should I... Should I set up a sword stance? Just to be... I'm gonna set up a sword stance. Because... Whoa! Psychic! Oh, shit! Didn't see that coming. Thank goodness Steel resists it. Oh, man. Alright, I'm setting up a Sword Stance. Just to make sure that when I do hit this thing, it'll be a 1 KO. I don't want her to heal it and then have to try and hit it again. Can I go for another turn? Alright, we're going to be here a while with the evasion anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and heal. And not risk any critical hit nonsense. So now all I have to do is hit her with an EQ, and that should finish it. Double team, you are a real bitch, Candace. I am not pleased with you. I know I should be trying to hit her as soon as possible, but to be frank, my luck with evasion whoring is so bad that I knew I was going to miss one way or the other, so I might as well just set up and make it so if I only need one hit to win. That's four double teams, and I bet a snow veil. This is why it's banned in competitive battling. Yes! Suck on that one, Candace! I'm perplexed as to why that wasn't super effective, but I don't really mind because it was still 100k after the 
swords dance. Did I? Uh, I thought ground did double the ice. I guess it's just rock. Doesn't matter. Eddie's strong enough to just knock him out. Dragon Pulse! What a reward for beating a gym leader. Alright. I like Eddie learning Dragon Pulse, because Eddie will resist Dragon-type moves since he's a Steel-type. Having Dragon Pulse makes him really dangerous. The thing is, as a Swords Dance set, it's kind of hard to justify having Aura Sphere and Close Combat. So I think I'm going to forget Aura Sphere, actually. Because... Yeah, I can't ever see an opportunity where I would go for Aura Sphere over Close Combat. If I just really needed a special attacker, I probably wouldn't have Eddie on the field. I could use Aura Sphere coming from Tugkiss. I'm going to forget Aura Sphere and learn Dragon Pulse instead. I want to keep the Swords Dance, though, so I can really set up EQs and close combats, because that's crazy powerful. Ah, uh, I must say, I've warmed up to you. Uh, more puns. Alright. We beat a gym leader without losing any Pokémon! And we got the Icicle Badge. Sweet. The Icicle Badge I just gave you, because you have it, you can use it to move Rock Climb anytime when you're not in battle. Yes, we need that to get to the lake. That's what we were trying to do in the first place. You got delayed with this gym. Avalanche! Oh good, now I can learn about it. If the user's... Oh, if the user takes damage, then... Oh, wow. No wonder Avalanche didn't do much to Bell. It's one of those moves that powers up when you hit them. So let's see... Where's Avalanche? 72? What's the base power? 60! Ooh, that would be tough. Flicks double damage if the user's been hurt in the same turn. Yeah, wow, that... That's like a 100% accurate Blizzard if you're a slow Pokémon. Although, I think it was it a physical type move? Yes. Who can learn Avalanche? Just out of curiosity here. That might be a great. Nope, nobody. That would be a great counter on a dragon. Because they tend to be pretty quick. If you, can, if you can survive one blow and return with an Avalanche, that might be enough to KO. Especially if it were a flying dragon. Alright, but that is all for this episode. Whew, it would be a gym leader. That is an accomplishment enough for me to end the video. And we did it without losing any Pokemon. I hope that it doesn't get... I don't, I don't want to be too cautious, but then again, I've, I've not been cautious enough for most of this LP. So I think I played it fairly well in there. I, I switched out when I should have, I used a Hyper Potion when I should have, I just sort of played it safe, and we, we, we really weren't in that much danger for a while. I was even willing to sacrifice super effective moves by putting Bell in, just so I could scout out what was going to happen and try and resist some shots with the Steel-type. That were pretty great. Alright, I'm very pleased with that. Awesome. Alright. Sweet. So next episode, we're going to go to Lake... What lake is it that's up north there? Oh, goodness. I, don't... I forgot the name already. Is it Valor? Or is that in the east? Let's look at the town map, which really shows a lot more than towns. Uh, Acuity. 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 We're going to go to Acuity Lakefront next time on Let's Pokemon Platinum Ponchlock. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys again soon.